Uh, COVID, of course, affected uh, the clinical practice uh, and our uh, ability to take care of these patients, uh, uh, just like any other illness. Um, we uh, are currently assessing uh, the rate of COVID infection in mastocytosis uh, patients. We don't have that data yet. But uh, obviously, patients with the more advanced varieties are more uh, susceptible to COVID complications uh, due to their immune suppressed uh, status. The patients with indolent disease, at first glance, seem to have a comparable infection rate. Uh, and uh, we just need to assess the outcomes. Uh, and we uh, started uh, looking more into that. Uh, uh, that aspect uh, of, of the illness. Um, but uh, of course, uh, with uh, the COVID uh, social distancing uh, guidelines, uh, we have been able to uh, take care of these patients uh, virtually, either by video visits or, or phone visits. And, um, and uh, so far, we have been able to manage most of the routine maintenance uh, related uh, clinical visits. Um, and, uh, and now that uh, our clinic restrictions are easing on face-to-face uh, -face contacts, we are going to see, we are going to be able to see more patients face-to-face uh, -face and, uh, and hopefully uh, return back to uh, some degree of normalcy in the next few months.